Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Some time ago, I had made a video on multiple regression analysis in Excel. That video had received a lot of likes and a lot of views. I also received a request to make more such statistical analysis videos. I have made a lot of videos on simple regression, multiple regression, understanding the errors and the coefficients. But now I decided to co compile an entire course for a deep dive into regression analysis for real world applications and on a real world data set that you would be probably working with as a part of your day to day jobs as a data analyst. By the end of the course, we would have covered topics such as we'll take a look at what is multiple R in detail, what is the significance of R and when to use adjusted R square, what is standard error, how to calculate it. We'll, ta we'll take a look at topics like residuals and the degrees of freedom and what it means. Then we'll take a look at sum of squares and what it means for residuals and, and regression. And after that, we'll take a look at the coefficients for each of the variables. What is the standard error for each of these variables? How to interpret the coefficient and the standard errors that it will have on the, on the uh, variable that you are trying to predict. So how the independent variables actually impact the dependent variable or how the x variable actually impacts the y variable or the target variable. We'll take a look at the p-value. You will understand what are the sig significance, the statistical significance of this p-value and how it, it tells you whether your coefficients or your actually your explanatory variables are they affecting your target variable or not. And we'll take a look at the confidence level uh, in a prediction. So what we'll be covering in the course content, we'll be taking a look at how to define a linear regression model. So some little bit of math here, a basic math, I'll not go into too deep, but it's very important to understand how do, how do we define this model, fit the model, because the best models that we use for business applications are the ones that can be explainable. So how to fit the model to your data, which, which is the easier part, then is how to interpret the coefficients of the model. So once we have fit the model, the next important part is how do we interpret the coefficients that have been estimated? We have got the coefficients, but what do they mean? How do the x variables impact your y variable? How do your, your independent variables impact your dependent variable? We'll take a look at that. Making predictions using this model. So once you have understood the coefficients, how you can make predictions using the model, then how to incorporate categorical variables also with a regression analysis, how to incorporate and, and do a regression analysis with either only categorical variables or with categorical and numerical variables. We'll take a look at understanding the different use cases for regression analysis. Yes, there are many other use cases. One of the very famous statistical techniques is regression analysis. And people think it's used only for making predictions. Well, it may be used for making predictions, but there are also different other use cases for understanding your relationships between the variables. One important use case can be the conducting the hypothesis test, the hypothesis test from the results of the regression analysis. Calculating the t-statistic and t-cutoff. If you don't understand the statistical terms, I'll be covering the basic of them. So at least you'll understand what these terms mean and how to and how to interpret them. Doing the hypothesis test using the confidence intervals that we have seen as the output of the regression analysis. We'll be talking about multi-collinearity between the variables and its effect on the regression analysis. And lastly, we'll be looking at some advanced log and semi-log methods. So stay tuned to the co uh, to, for this entire course. I'll be releasing videos in parts and we'll be taking a look at each and every topic in detail. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across Excel and Python. Thank you.